And now to the heartbreaking new details about the moments before police shot and killed a man who opened fire on a police station overnight. They now tell us the man had just killed the mother of his own child. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette live with much more on this, including the history of this suspect. Simon. Glenda Allen, an incredibly tragic end to a child custody dispute just a few minutes ago. Loved ones coming out and telling us more about the victim, a 28-year-old mother identified as Siobhan Mitchell. It's devastating. Siobhan literally was an angel. The worst thing that she possibly did was to fall in love with the wrong man. She fell in love with this man in high school. Grief and disbelief follow the murder of a 28 year old mother killed Monday near Grand River and Warren, beginning a deadly two day stretch of violence. Sources say 28 year old Kevin Fox, who also opened fire on officers and a police precinct, had a history of domestic violence offenses and has previously been locked up at the Wayne County Jail. He's been controlling ever since. It's been a very rocky domestic violence um, situation uh, since the onset of their relationship. He did all, all the telltale signs of trying to get her away from the family. We were there to witness a heavy police presence at Mac and Connor today. The man sources identify as Fox had barricaded himself in his vehicle after shooting at the 5th precinct just after 5 a.m. He gets out with a high powered weapon, leans over the hood, and begins to fire several shots into the police station. The chief says it's unclear why the 28 year old suspect targeted that location, but he then shot at a scout car, took off and parked in a lot across from Fiat Chrysler on Connor. Uh, they could see uh, that he was holding an AR-15 against his chest. And as uh, the officer said, let me see your hands, he shook his head negative. Sources say Fox died following the shootout. The chief says earlier the shooter sent a chilling text message to the victim's family saying he'd made good on a threat to kill her for taking his child. He used the child oftentimes as leverage to either have her to come back home or to just be back with him in certain situations. If you don't be with me, I'm going to kill our child. Siobhan was everything to everyone. She was a sweet soul. Such a sad and horrible situation. Now we know no officers were seriously injured during all of this. The five year old boy, the child in this case, now staying with a grandmother. Glenda, back to you. Very sad, Simon. And there is help out there for victims or people who feel like they have nowhere to turn. There is help. Uh, thank you for bringing us that update. Alan.